there's an energy that's destroying the system. And it's um, destroying it wholly. It is it's literally rippling the system to pieces. And they're trying to hold things together. Um, I don't know if you guys heard, but Japan, the Japanese president said they're going to become a capitalistic society. And when you talk about capitalism, you're talking about trying to control the, um, the welfare of a people. Um, so the entire democratic cabinet resigned because the president said, hey, come September, it's going to be a capitalistic system. And you're going to be replaced by other cabinet members. So everybody resigned. And so, so it's like the energy is causing these beings to turn against each other. There are so many other things that are happening right now. Our enemies have possession of certain things that belong to us that mortals are not supposed to have possession of. No. So, we're going to be creating a few things that's going to change the entire scope of this realm. All right. That's why we've been talking about building. What we build changes everything. You've got to understand the, the 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 magnitude of what you when you change when you build something new. You are literally changing the dynamics of this realm of this dimension. Literally, you're 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 changing things, and that's why we talked about building. I wish more brothers and sisters who understood what we're supposed to be doing i'm going heavy <laughs> i mean i haven't even showed you guys this whole arsenal i've got just give me get ready to just go ham i haven't even announced it seriously i'm going ham you know i'm, I'm going straight in i'm going i'm going straight up ham on them so the energy that's here, we have to work with the energy. It's not so much as we're sitting up and watching the energy, you know, this great celestial thing that's happening. It's not about us sitting up here watching this, it's about us coming in tune with it and working with it so that this energy can, and it's going to manifest itself, but then we want the energy to manifest within us as well, which means when we raise our level of intelligence, um, some things I've been looking at. All right. Um, increasing your power of thinking. All right. Because many of us are trying to get into a higher mindset. Um, and study suggests that increasing magnesium intake may be a valid strategy to enhance cognitive abilities and support uh, speculation of that inadequate levels of mag magnesium impair cognitive function leading to faster deterioration of memory, memory age and, and aging so you have to understand, understand overstand that we had a certain diet yes the magnesium the zinc, we had gold, we had copper, we had silver, which is something I'm going to be getting back into. I've gotten away from some of it. I've gotten the magnesium. Um, I'm all out of zinc. Um, and then we, you know, we, we, this is what we did as the original beings because we knew that we were metallic beings. We knew that we were fully full metal jackets. All right. So many of us. Um, like they showed us the, um, the mind enhancement thing, um, the NZT or whatever. They showed us on that show and this guy was like a brilliant, this is what magnesium does for us. Let's see, going down the line, it said, does magnesium make you smarter? Magnesium, um, 
I Edmesium L Theorate is a synthesized form of magnesium that can boost your cognitive abilities. All right, um, learn how it's used to improve me memory and reverse brain aging. Magnesium is so important for health. It's been called the master mineral. It's particularly important for a healthy brain and nervous system. It said, does magnesium help with brain power? Magnesium plays, plays significant roles within many of the body's tissues and organs, including the brain. One reason is for it, the, the key role in the brain due to the important part of magnesium is plays the energy production. Brain uses a disproportionate amount of energy. So your brain is constantly, you know, moving, you know, so it's important. Magnesium is something that's good for you. Um, um, let's see. So this is this is so much. You know, it's, it's so much when you talk about dementia, and dementia turns into um, Alzheimer's. That magnesium works for us. Um, new studies suggest that magnesium um, that increase that increasing your take of magnesium an essential m mineral found in dark leafy vessels and certain fruits, beans and nuts may help you combat memory losses. Okay, so we're gonna say foods rich in Magnesium. All right. Yeah, avocados, spinach, bananas, dark chocolate, almond, beans, cashews, pumpkin seeds, tofu, leafy greens, whole grain, legumes, um, peanuts are part of the legume family. Brown rice. We counting out soy. We're not gonna go edamame. Edamame and soy. We're not going soy. Swiss chard. They say yogurt, but I'm not sure. Quinoa, different seeds. We would say peanuts, peanut butters, kidney beans, black beans. Those are rich in magnesium. All right. Avocado, spinach, banana, avocado, spinach, banana, dark chocolate, almonds, beans. All right. Your different beans, cashews, pumpkin seeds, tofu. All right. Leafy greens, whole grain. Legumes, which are still a form of beans. <laughs> Excuse me. Brown rice, Swiss chard, uh, quinoa, your know, different seeds, uh, peanuts, peanut butter, kidney beans, black beans. All right. So these, the magnesium helps to increase your memory and it helps you to enhance your thinking. And therefore, with enhanced thinking, you can have a more enhanced type of building. Like we say, the magnitude of how building literally reshapes this realm. All right. So, you know, um, let's see what we got over here. Zinc plays an important role the um, axonal and synaptic transmission and is necessary for the nucleic acid metabolism, the brain, tubulin, gross phosphorase, phosphor um, relation, lack of zinc has been implicated into impaired DNA, RNA, and protein synthesis during brain development. So zinc and magnesium are extremely important for our ability to think and to hold certain levels of information and knowledge. And, all right. Is it good for memory? Zinc supplementary enhances uh, short, uh, short and long-term uh, recognition, spatial work memory. All right. Um, it's a hippocamo zinc and copper, plasma copper significantly increase with age. So you, you copper 
zinc, gold, magnesium, all right? Extremely important metals that we should have for our bodies to enhance our ability to think and therefore it increases help to increase our intelligence and therefore we can we are able to build and create and design and we can reshape our realm the higher the more power your brain has the more power your body has all right i'm gonna say that again the more power your brain has the more power your body has all right so you increase um, magnesium would be something like your cph4 you know that's that's the increased magnesium, increased zinc. So you do your magnesium, your zinc, your silver colloidal, your gold colloidal, your copper colloidal, you know, extremely important in our diets to increase um your um your bodies and you know you have to keep it have to do everything in moderation. So make sure whatever um suggested use for these metals you use the suggested use for these metals okay don't go don't go ham okay because too much of anything can hurt you zinc is essential um it's essential for growth and brain growth and development and i'm gonna tell you something i'm gonna tell you something about myself. when you talk about brain growth and development your brain is always growing your brain is always developing your your brain never stops growing and developing your brain is constantly growing and constantly developing it just don't stop growing and developing when you be, when you turn from a child to to an adult your brain is constantly developing you got to remember we are perfectly imperfect your body is constantly growing and developing you might be the height that you are but then you have an inside of you that has to become more powerful as well Okay, so something for you to think about. All right, something for you to think about. All right, so you got to make sure that um, you don't take too much of anything. But the main, the main one is your magnesium. Magnesium by itself, if you try to collect like magnesium by itself, it is highly, highly bitter. It has a metallic taste to it. So if you're doing a liquid magnesium, get your dropper and drop. Do one drop, one, one full drop into like a juice or, um, you know, more like, a, more like a juice. Don't drink it with water because if you try to drink it with water, you're going to be tasting all that magnesium. So you want to put in like some juice or a smoothie. Um, that would be the best um, idea to use that uh, liquid magnesium. I do everything in liquid. All right, I'll do the pills because I don't know how these pills work. I don't know how they break down. I know when I get the, the liquid stuff, it it goes directly into the bloodstream. All right, so you talk about brain enhancement, um, silver colloidal, brain enhancement, um, copper colloidal, brain enhancement, gold colloidal, brain enhancement. All oh, this is designed for your brain, all right, to increase your levels. That's what I'm going to say it one more time or two more times. A stronger brain means a stronger body. A more powerful brain means a more powerful body. A stronger brain means a stronger body. A more powerful brain means a more powerful body. This right here is the house of the body. This is all this work together, but your brain, your brain is where your spirit resides. So you have a stronger brain, you have a stronger spirit. All right. So all right, so that's why I pass it on to you guys. I'll pass it on. Okay, so it's important. Let's get to um building brothers and sisters. Okay, one other thing I forgot about was iron. Whew, I'm glad I remember that. Iron. Um iron proteins have key roles in the normal brain function and the process of the brain development, including neurogenesis, um melee, okay, whatever the stuff is right here. And the neurotransmitter metabolism. All right, iron is extremely important for the body. Um, I said, does iron help your brain? Iron is involved in many fundamental biological processes in the brain, including oxygen transportation, DNA synthesis, mitochondrial respiration, um, neurotransmitter synthesis, and metabolism. Okay, is iron good for memory? Um, iron supplements can appear in reverse 
um, to help reverse any learning and memory deficits caused by a lack of iron. A new study shows um, the study is one of the first of its kind linked to iron deficiency with a, sl with a slow down thinking and memory to, sh um, to show that and replacing iron can remedy the deficits. Okay, um, how can I increase iron in my brain? Uh, there's also more eight, those who ate more dairy products and vegetables had higher, higher iron levels. On the other hand, women, uh, women dairy consumption did not seem to affect the brain. Okay, all right, I'm not even getting into that. I'm, I'm reading too much now. All right, so we know that the foods high in, high in iron are your leafy green vegetables. All right, loads of iron. Okay, so um, iron deficiency could can, can uh, also um, do something dealing with um, can also cause you not to be able to think properly. Iron deficiency. This is why your your diet is extremely extremely important. All right, it's extremely important. Uh, brain deficiency, brain iron deficiency is associated with disruptive um, neurophysiological um, mechanisms within a social content that does not provide regular stimuli, compromised motive, motor and cognitive development. That's your hand and um, your hand movement, your 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 um, your body, your brain movement. Okay, so um, it's important that this is why we talked about, you know, veganism and changing your diet. All right, we talked about that. But um, there is, um, you have colloidal, colloidal um, iron, colloidal copper, colloidal silver. You have colloidal gold. You have, um, what else? Gold, silver, copper. Iron, and then you have the regular magnesium. You have your regular magnesium, and I think you have colloidal zinc, or you can just do the zinc, um, uh, the liquid zinc. I know there's a liquid zinc that you can also take, and you just you do the recommended amount. I think with the colloidal copper and your colloidal gold, you only do like a teaspoon a day or either a tablespoon a day. So basically you can make yourself a smoothie and you have your iron, your copper, your gold, your silver, your magnesium, your zinc all together in your smoothie or your juice. Put it all in there and this will help increase your brain function. All right, so I'm glad that we went through this here. Um, so when you're talking about colloidal, you're talking about the use of like the pure element, but that uh, magnesium I got, that's pure magnesium. Seriously, it's liquid magnesium. And I taste that joker that one time by itself. The worst bitter taste ever. And it was all metallic. It tastes like this metal in my mouth. It was bitter. It was horrible. It lasted in my mouth. The taste lasted for about two hours in my mouth. I hated it. <laughs> I took a whole dropper full and just dropped it in my mouth and didn't even realize what it was because I thought I was just supposed to put it in my mouth and then I realized I was supposed to put it in my my juice or either my uh, smoothie so um the metals are important all of the metals all right um let me see let me see something um Let's see. I thought I was going to sound find some collodial platinum. I might be able to. Collodial, collodial, colloidal, colloidal platinum. And there is collodial. I hope I'm saying it right. Collado, collado platinum. There is a collado platinum. Uh, platinum is essential. Um, 
it's platinum colloid. It's um, uh, mineral known to stimulate the eyes and harmonize, uh, harmonize nervous spasms. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, so it says that platinum used in elixir form as like a colloidal or colloidal, colloidal, colloidal. Um, platinum alleviates depression and helps one regain memory, especially um, a particular memory that um, has been lost due to one being either shocked. Um, So platinum is good for the body as well. Let's see here. Um, it said uh, platinum has been just known for the properties of enhancing intuition. All right. Platinum maintains one's energy level to enhance um, the accomplishment and completion of goals. It's been used to stimulate the pineal gland. All right, so we have colloidal platinum, and it is a kind of expensive, guys. All right, it is expensive. Um, because one bottle, I'd like it's right about. Um. $39 for a 250 milliliter. All right. Um, and somebody's trying to sell it for $139 for one ounce. All right. So uh, that's something that's, um, well, you have platinum collateral, rich biodine. Oh, these are iodine drops um, through VitaSave. It's a uh, colloidal vegetable drops, iodine and platinum. Iodine is, iodine is a necessary element for our body as well. Um, many of us lack iodine. Okay, so just want to share that with you guys. Um, our diet is going to bring us back into perspective to build and create. All right. The more we build, the more we create, the more we reshape this realm. All right. Magnitude of building. Your diet plays in an essential role. All right, guys. All right. Catch you guys later. Just want to drop that message with you. Okay. <laughs>